Hi, this is Sean Overton with OneStepRemove.com. In this video, we'll discuss how to install an indicator in MetaTrader 4. The video assumes that you already have an indicator downloaded or that you've located one on a website and you're just wondering where to put it. To, so you know in advance where we're going, the entire hierarchy of where to save the indicator file is C drive, program files, name of your broker, experts, and then indicators. We'll go through this step by step so you can visualize the process. Go ahead and click on the start button in the bottom left corner, then select computer or my computer. Once you do that, you'll see this on the screen. You'll want to choose the local disk C by double clicking. Once you do that, you'll see a list of folders. Click program files twice. Then you'll see a list of all the different program files installed on your computer. And this is where MetaTrader always installs. It, you just need to choose the name of your broker. If you have FXCM, it'll be named FXCM. If you have FXDD, it's named FXDD. You can see some of them are named differently. They have MetaTrader 4 and then the name of the broker. Choose the appropriate one by double clicking. Then double click on Experts. Then finally double click on Indicators. The, in, the exact location is C Drive, Program Files, the name of your broker, Experts, then Indicators. Choose the name of the file that you want to save. In this case, I'm going with Supertrend, and then I push Save and I'm done. If you have MetaTrader open, you'll want to close it at this time, then reopen it again. What this does is it refreshes the list of indicators in, in EAs so that you can find the file you just added. To apply the file you just added, what you need to do is find the navigator window on the left. If you don't see it, click on View at the top of the screen, then Navigator. It should appear on the left sidebar. You'll see a list of options that say Expert Advisors, Scripts, Indicators, Custom Indicators. Click on the plus sign next to Custom Indicators, then find the name of the file in the drop-down list. In this case, I saved Supertrend and I found it right here. To put it on a chart, all I have to do is select it, then drag and drop it onto a chart. Once I do that, I'll see a window pop up immediately with four different tabs. If I want to get started, I can just push OK and it'll appear on the chart. If I want to control some of the settings, I can click on the Input tab and then change some of those numbers there and the indicator will behave according to what I put in. If you have any questions, you can find us at OneStepRemove.com or you can email info at OneStepRemove.com. My name is Sean Overton. Thank you for listening.